decision to procure up to 24 additional Eurofighter Typhoons has stirred debate among defense analysts, many of whom point to the country's simultaneous investment in the sixth-generation GCAP fighter program. At first glance, buying a 4.5-generation aircraft while preparing to field a next-generation platform by the mid-2030s may appear contradictory. Yet a deeper examination reveals a strategic, logically layered modernization plan designed to preserve Italy's air dominance today, protect its industrial expertise for tomorrow, and build momentum for future capabilities. The modern typhoon is far removed from the early models that entered service 15 to 20 years ago. The new Italian aircraft will incorporate the Seacaptor ASA radar suite, expanded onboard computing power, upgraded sensor fusion software, and seamless integration with advanced air-to-air -air weapons such as the AIM-120D3. These enhancements significantly improve beyond visual range engagement capability, boost electronic resilience, and sharpen multi-target tracking accuracy. In the Mediterranean theater, where quick reaction alert missions, air policing, and identification patrols remain daily tasks, these upgrades are not optional they are foundational for maintaining operational superiority. What often goes unnoticed is the structural challenge facing the Italian Air Force. Its earliest Typhoon Tranche 1 jets have reached the limits of meaningful modernization. Their sensors, avionics, and combat systems no longer align with contemporary requirements, and their long-term upgrade potential is minimal. Retaining them would create stagnation in capability. Replacing them with the new Typhoon configuration prevents a looming capability gap between the outgoing fourth-generation fleet and the incoming sixth-generation GCAP aircraft. Italy is essentially preventing a fighter gap, a period in which aging aircraft are no longer viable, while next-generation fighters are still years away from operational maturity. The industrial dimension of the decision is equally important. Leonardo, Italy's aerospace flagship, is a core partner in the Eurofighter program. Each new Typhoon order supports Italian engineering expertise, high-skilled jobs, and a domestic supply chain that underpins the nation's technological sovereignty. Italy is not merely purchasing aircraft, it is sustaining an industrial ecosystem that will directly support GCAP development. By contrast, expanding purchases of foreign-produced fighters such as the F, 35 would shift much of the industrial benefit abroad, primarily to the United States. The Typhoon acquisition safeguards Italy's long-term capacity to design, build and innovate, ensuring the country remains a producer, not just a consumer, of high-end defense technology. Italy's geographic reality further strengthens the logic of this dual fleet strategy. Positioned along NATO's southern flank, Italy oversees a vast arc stretching from the Adriatic to the central Mediterranean and the approaches to North Africa. Bases in Sicily, Apulia and Sardinia form a rapid reaction shield across this vital region. For these missions, the Typhoon, with its high-altitude performance, powerful engines, and rapid acceleration, remains an ideal quick-reaction interceptor. The F-35 complements, rather than replaces, this role, while unmatched in stealth, deep strike and sensor fusion tasks, the F-35 is not optimized for urgent air policing intercepts. Italy's approach is therefore not duplication but intelligent specialization. Meanwhile, regional competition is accelerating. Greece is fielding Rafales and upgrading its F-16 fleet. Turkey is pursuing typhoon procurement and advancing its indigenous KAN fighter project. Egypt operates Rafales and is evaluating additional acquisitions. In this contested Mediterranean and Atlantic airpower environment, Italy cannot afford to allow its air combat capability to plateau. A fully modernized typhoon provides decisive advantages in beyond visual range combat, where radar reach, missile integration, and battle management software increasingly outweigh pure aerodynamic performance. At the same time, the Typhoon is evolving into a technological bridge toward sixth-generation concepts. Modern upgrade paths now involve experimental systems such as AI-assisted threat prioritization, advanced electronic warfare suites, and integration with unmanned wingmen. 
Over the next decade, Typhoons may act as command nodes for loyal wingman drones or serve as test platforms for next-generation cockpit architectures that will later migrate to GCAP. Far from being a dead-end design, the Typhoon is becoming a living laboratory for iterative innovation. This dual trajectory, maintaining immediate readiness while developing future strengths, mirrors a broader European defense awakening. After decades of underinvestment, European air forces are rediscovering the importance of industrial autonomy and layered force structures. By continuing to procure typhoons, Italy signals its intention to preserve a balanced fleet that provides reliable, high-end combat power today while paving the way for next-generation transformation. The move also reinforces cooperation within the Eurofighter Consortium, deepening industrial and strategic links with Germany, Spain and the United Kingdom. The long view reinforces the rationale. GCAP will not arrive before 2035, and its full integration may extend toward 2040. Once fielded, it will require new training pipelines, infrastructure adaptation, doctrinal development and tactical rewriting. During this transitional period, Italy needs a proven, upgradable combat aircraft to secure its airspace and fulfill NATO commitments. The Typhoon, especially in its advanced configuration, is uniquely positioned to fulfill that role. Ultimately, Italy's renewed investment in the Eurofighter Typhoon is neither redundant nor nostalgic. It is a deliberate expression of strategic patience and industrial confidence. The acquisition preserves Italy's air superiority in the present, cultivates its aerospace talent for the future, and ensures continuity of defense posture along one of NATO's most exposed perimeters. Viewed through this lens, the procurement is not simply the purchase of an aircraft. It is the acquisition of time, resilience, capability and sovereignty. The Typhoon Order serves as a bridge across decades, connecting operational readiness today with technological supremacy tomorrow.